Hey guys, SMD here. We're going to be talking about some Death Knight changes. Starting off with May 19th hotfixes. Um, Death Knight's got a bit of a nerf on May 19th, just not long gone. I mean, not long gone, about 10 days ago, fuck. I'm a bit behind. Um, Howling Blast has been reduced by approximately 9%, which is, you know, expected. It was pretty OP to begin with. Necro uh, Necrotic Strikes AP uh, Kofis, um coefficient has been reduced from 0 0.75 to 0 0.7. I'm not entirely sure what that means or if that's a massive nerf or I don't know. You guys tell me. Uh, obliterate has been reduced from 160% to 150% base weapon damage. Motherfucker. Ass fucking bitch. Oh well, that's, that's not the worst. You know, we can live with that. Okay, moving on. Um, there was another update for Blood DKs because um, I like playing my Blood DK every now and again. Uh, Dancing Room Weapon deals 100% damage of the Death Knight's attack up from 50%. This is a 4.2 change, guys. Um, it means that DKs are going to be pulling a lot more threat when they hit that cooldown. Uh, so that's going to be good for them. Frost, which is my class, really. Rune Strike no longer scales from attack power, but it could just be a tooltip change. That's not been confirmed, so we're not really bothered about that. Killing Machine now procs from auto attacks instead of melee attacks. It already did, um, the, as you can see, it's a tool tip cl clarification already like that on live, so you ain't got to worry about that shit. Okay, moving on. <sighs> there it is, guys. Hungering Cold now has 1.5 second cast time. So, there's been a lot of QQ about this on the forums, on Arena Junkies, about what's going on, what, what fucking, what is going through Blizz's mind, are they fucking insane? So... They're giving a melee class a castable abil ability, basically. The, um, they did it with warriors, um, but it's kind of weird. Because we're death knights, we don't really have to cast anything. The only fucking thing we cast is a mount and death's gate. And uh, army of the dead, sorry, yeah. Um, they haven't really explained what's going to go on with it. They haven't put down if it's interruptible. If it's interruptible, that means we're going to be locked out of our abilities for a bit. Which will suck balls. Um, they haven't said that if haste will affect it, so if it's a 1.5 second uh, cast time, but if you have haste, or if there's going to be any talents that can reduce that down, um, it's kind of crazy what they're, they're they're doing with this. I mean, they revamped and put um, mages' abilities back to normal, so they can do Ring of Frost. I still think that the Hunger and Cold ability should be left as it is, or either A, make it so it can't um, line of sight people, so it can't freeze people out of line of sight, uh, reduce its range if you really wanted to, um, or B, C, whatever the fuck I'm on. Um, make it a longer cooldown, because uh, it, it, it is a bit OP, because I know I've frozen people in, I've death grips, I've frozen someone in place, killed his friend, and then de death gripped him, uh, the frozen target, right back over to me, and carried on DPS in him. So it, it is kind of a, an OP ability, but not as much as, I don't think as mages are OP uh, with their abilities. Uh, I'm not saying that they're, sorry, I shouldn't say they're OP. Uh, they have a lot of CC ability, especially as Frost. Uh, the only other thing with a 1.5 second ca cast time, yeah, if it's interruptible, we're screwed, we're going to be frozen out of all of our Frost talents for a while. Um, the second thing being that in 1.5 seconds, uh, a, dru um, a druid can dash or whatever out of it, um, out of your line of target if he sees you casting it. You can basically see that mages will blink away from it. I mean, it might be a thing where that. I guess in a way it could help in PvP with a 1.5 second cast down. Because if they see you casting it, uh, they could basically waste a cooldown by blinking away or dashing away. Um, or as a warrior's heroic leaping away. So I guess in a way, in there, it, it does help. So they, you can waste one of their cooldowns so you can they won't use it later on. But I'm not sure how it's going to work. There's a lot of QQ going on in the forums about it. There's, Of course, DKs like us are going to be mad about it because we don't want it changed. Uh, there's going to be um, other classes uh, who are happy about it because, you know, they, they fucking hate it. <laughs> and they think DKs are OP at the moment, which, you know, the uh, the crit chance on Obliterate and the frost damage that we do is, is quite exceptionally high. I mean, I can take people down pretty damn fast. It's it's quite interesting, to be honest. Um, 
The second thing we got is the glyph. Uh, glyph of Dark Sakura has been redesigned. Uh, rather than placing a 15% health floor on the Death Knight, uh, healing while in Frost and Holy Presence, basically means that when you, um, at the moment when you Death Strike without this glyph, you get to heal for a certain amount, um, depending on what diseases and shit you had on the target, I believe. Uh, I don't use Death Strike that much <laughs> for some strange reason. Should, but I don't. Um, in this case, with this glyph, it means that when you do Death Strike, um, you definitely get 15% of your health back. Um, but, not anymore. Uh, in 4.2, as far as it is now, it causes the next death strike within 15 seconds after a killing a foe that yields experience or honor to heal for at least 20% of the Death Knight's maximum health. So basically, it's a PvP talent. Um, it's the exact same near enough as the Paladin one where if you kill someone, your holy, um, holy light becomes uh, a critical strike on you, so you get like a massive heal from it. Uh, it's the same with, uh, similar to Victory Rush, I guess. Um, it just means that we're going to have to, we'll still get heals from it, but not as much. Um, it just means that once we've actually killed someone, we gain 20% of our he health as long as we death strike someone right next to us. But if there's no one around, it's wasted. I mean, we don't get it. It's a, I don't know how this glyph's going to pan out in uh, the rest of the game, to be honest. Um because it doesn't seem that good anymore. Uh, right, other than that, for Death Knights, we have uh, an update for the gear, the two set bonuses. Uh, blood two piece bonus, your immediate attacks cause bl burning blood on your target, deals 800 fire damage every two seconds for six seconds, and causes your abilities to behave, behave as if you had two diseases present on the target, which I think is crazy, because uh, Blood DKs are got a bonus, uh, just got a buff on their Dancing Room weapon, um, they're getting a bonus on their uh, buff, sorry, for their parry rating by 2%, and they're also getting this. I mean, with this now, it means that once you got two pieces, you could spam. I mean, you don't have to put diseases on the target. You can just spam Heroic Strike and Heart, uh, sorry, heart Strike and Death Strike over and over and over. You ain't got to worry about your diseases. Um, other than when you want to do an AoE and you want to split them up onto multiple targets. I mean, this is massive ability. I mean, it's crazy. Another thing with the Blood 4-piece bonus, increases your parry chance by 15% for 12 seconds after Dancing Rune Weapons expires. So basically, Dancing Rune Weapon, once you have your 4-piece, not only incre gives you 100% damage boost, because it does 100% damage now instead of 50, it will also, once it expires, gives you 15% parry chance for 12 seconds, which makes us one hell of a dodge tank at the moment. Frost and Unholy, um, your Horn of Winter ability also grants you 3 runic power every 5 seconds for 2 minutes, which I see as fucking pointless. Um, as Frost, anyway, because uh, at the moment, when I'm playing, I really, really have a lot of runic power, and I have to dump that shit in Frost Strike every time I can, because you can just gain holy, um, on basic runic power as fast as anything, so that, I don't see really any point in it. Uh, the four piece bonus, your Obliterate and Scourge Strike abilities deal 6% additional damage as fire damage over 4 seconds. You know, that standard fire crap they're putting in in Firelands. Everything does fire damage now. Right, um, give you an idea of what the new Death Knight armor looks like. It's kind of, I don't know, we kind of look like a druid. Um, that's what's going on with the headpiece. Definitely looks like a druid. I kind of like it. I like the shoulder. I like everything but the helmet, to be honest. But then again, I never play with helmets on. Um, it just looks too, too much like a druid helmet, to be honest. If you look, it kind of reminds me of the Hodir uh, back in um, Wrath of the Lich King. If you took off these on the corners here, and you just had these two things coming down here, the two horns, it looks pretty much exactly like the original... Um, Hodier helmets that used to get in Wrath of Lich King. They've just added some frilly shit on the top and some bluey glow around. Yeah, you know, it looks pretty cool. I like, I like it, but the helmet sucks. Right, uh, other than that, PvP mounts, guys. Uh, they brought some new mounts out in 4.2, but the one I'm looking for is, you know, the Gladiator mount, because I'm getting a lot into my PvP these days, and I'm trying, as a next season, to get a good team together in threes. Uh, either going to be on my Holy Paladin, because I'm pretty much... Death Knight is fun, but I'm having a lot more fun at the moment um, on my Holy Paladin in healing people. 
DPSing is great, but it's always trying to get as many killing blows as shit as you can. Whereas my Holy Paladin is just basically, I just gotta keep everybody up. And fucking stun some shit out of some people when they get too close. And I enjoy it. So, uh, here's the new PvP mount. Um, it looks pretty cool, guys. I'm looking forward to seeing that. So, guys, that's pretty much it. Um... That's my little 4.2 update for Death Knights. Um, probably gonna do some more with Death Knights as I go along. Probably get some Paladin in there as well. But this is my very first informative video compared to me just going around killing people randomly over and over and over until they die. Yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, gonna do some other shit on this channel. Um, I know I said I was gonna do some playthroughs, but the problem with playthroughs is that if I play a game and I play the first 15 20 minutes of it I do a video for it and I fucking hate that game I don't want to do it again it's just boring um, I've got Call of Duty I'm probably gonna do some videos on that but then again the PC version is not as good as I thought it would be um, I got some PvP action I'm gonna get some holy action going on once I get my gear sorted for my holy paladin I'm still working on that I've got three vicious at the moment on him I just need to get some more gear get him geared so I can get it ready to go we're gonna get some threes action going on with the holy paladin because um, my guild wants to get some threes going on uh, we're not gonna go high high you know mating or anything like that we're just gonna get some practice in before next season I uh, hope you enjoy the video guys and Thumbs up if you liked it, you know, just let me know what else you want to see. Um, I'm trying to be as informative as possible. Uh, I did change my spec on my DK, which is, um, I've now swapped out some points in Strangulate and some other abilities, and I've moved them over to decreasing uh, death, uh, death grip uh, cooldown, 30% more damage on my diseases, and I've gone for Desecration to slow people down when using Necrotic Strike. It's working out a lot better. Um, like an idiot, nobody, I never even knew that uh, after you could glyph for Howling Blast and swap Howling Blast over for um, Icy Touch. So I've only just managed to get that sorted. So um, I'll get some more DK videos up here. I'm also over at TGN Idol putting some videos up on there. So if you guys see anything over there, I know this channel's pretty much dead at the moment. I've got no one viewing it, but I'm hoping that um, these informative videos and the things I do will increase my viewage and uh, get me out there because um, I want to be <laughs> I want to be out there guys I want to be the guy you come to to get some fun when you're bored you want to come home go on YouTube and I want you to click my video and go holy shit that guy made me laugh so guys I'll see you next time hope you enjoy the video peace